Hello, America and the world. This is Radio Free Market, and I'm your host, Michael McKay. We are behind the lines of socialism, my friends, and Radio Free Market is the voice of free people and free markets. Today, our topic is legal tender laws, competing currencies, and the blessings of deflation with Dr. George Guido Hulsman. Welcome, Guido. Welcome, Michael. Nice to be with you. I'm really happy that you could be here with us. So, uh, folks, you should know that Dr. Holtzman is a professor of economics at the University of Angers in France. Did I pronounce that correctly? Angers. That's Angers. Angers. Yes, Thank you. Yes, well, yes. Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, he is the author of many books, including The Ethics of Money Production and Deflation and Liberty. He is also on the, uh, on the senior faculty of the Ludwig von Mises Institute. So, Guido, let's get started talking about the blessings of deflation, since, as you say, it is the great scarecrow used by government to deflect attention away from inflation. And so we don't get too technical for people. Let's just use the common definition of deflation. Would you please give that to us? The the common textbook definition today is uh, that deflation is a permanent decrease of the price level. Okay. Can we also say that the value of money in our pockets goes up? Right. Okay, as well as prices going down. Yeah, so this is the opposite side of the coin. Right? Okay. If our money prices go up, then, of course, your purchasing power per m- unit of money goes down, and the other way around, if prices go down, then you can buy more with each dollar. Okay. Who benefits by prices going down? Well, it's difficult to single out a uh, single group that would benefit from this because if all prices go down, then all revenues also go down. Mm -hmm. So, on the one hand, you are winning because prices go down, you pay less for goods and services that you consume, for example. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, your revenue also tends to shrink. For businesses. Right, so your real revenue might be just the same as before. So, for... Uh, savers, the elderly, and the consumers, they would be significant beneficiaries of this. Well, ag- again, it always depends on how your revenue uh, is modified as compared to the, the sinking consumer goods prices. Mm-hmm. If you are a saver and you uh, have, uh, f- for example, invested in fixed income mm-hmm. uh, assets or in assets the value of which does not fall as much as the consumer goods prices, then, of course, you are, you are winning. Mm-hmm. But if you have invested in things that fall even stronger in price than the consumer goods prices, then you are losing. Mm-hmm. Well, but in general, we could say that the consumer benefits if, if their money buys more and if their purchasing power becomes stronger. Yeah, in, in their capacity as consumer, right? Yes. But, but again, it's, it's, we cannot say that it's always it's beneficial for, uh, let's say, the citizens a, as consumers, because the citizens as consumers can only spend the money that they also earn somewhere else mm-hmm. in the economy, mm-hmm. either from their savings or from their labor. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I, I must insist on this point because it's, uh, it's a very widespread fallacy that you just say, well, it's, it's magnificent from the point of view of consumers, we always need to keep in, in mind that the relative consideration or the, the, uh, the relevant consideration mm-hmm. is how the prices evolve relative to your income. Mm-hmm. So deflation is not, uh, generally speaking, beneficial for consumers or mm-hmm. for any other group. Well, you know, what, uh, we, we both understand that uh, deflation actually, uh, as we're talking about it here, I'm really trying to lead to a series of questions yeah, that go yeah, yeah. to uh, the 1880s, <laughs> which was a period of a yeah, decade yeah. where there was right. consistent deflation, right. and there was a great benefit to the consumers. Exactly. And so, you know, for the, uh, uh, rather but than what, what happened in those uh, days was that the monetary revenue of the consumers uh, was uh, of the wage earners was by much stable or diminished only slightly, whereas consumer prices were dropping dramatically. Mm-hmm. So you see, you get precisely this phenomenon that uh, although all prices diminish, some prices diminish more uh, uh, stronger th- than others, uh, and you get a, a beneficial impact, therefore. Well, this is good. We're going to have to, you know, uh, dig this apart a little bit more. Yes. And so uh, when we come back, We'll uh, continue with Dr. Hulsman on the blessings of deflation. This is Radio Free Market, and I'm your host, Michael McKay. So please stay with us. We'll be back right after the break. <laughs> 